let, let's wrap up with this because I've wanted to get to this for a couple of weeks and you did just allude to this earlier and people, you know, I, we're now a, a year, well over a year into Paul's chain. I mean, going on a year and a half or a year and four months or so, I think exactly. Um, and one of the big sacrifice projects that was out there, of course, was liquid loans and people, you know, they got a lot of money. They were one of the most highly anticipated platforms that was going to be on Paul's chain. You talked at the beginning of the show, Ewok, not, this has nothing really to do with them as a platform or anything like that, but you talked about your position, wanting to pull it out of there and stuff like that based on how you were set up, but just kind of a quick update on liquid loans because the loan token is obviously like Zen. I mean, it's basically just gone down forever. Um, you know, many people are upset, um, maybe rightly so about like the, the lack of development there or feeling that the funds haven't really gone to anything. Um, there's just a lot of people out there that are kind of, you know, I've seen calling them out here and there lately and really I haven't even heard much from them lately. So I don't know. I would want to defer to you about like what the platform offers and what you have found valuable or not so valuable from it and things like that. But I've just seen some people talking about it lately, especially with like updates to other products like, you know, nine inch and stuff like that lately. Um, I'm just curious where you're at with liquid loans. Again, haven't heard much from it and what your experience with it has been. Well, let's just, I mean, we can talk about it, the, the platform itself and, and kind of go over what it is, what it does. Um, and you're right. The loan token, um, is pretty much a forever dump. It was almost like an incentive token um, because people get it as rewards, okay? There's different ways. So you can borrow, uh, you can deposit your pulse um, right here and then borrow and get USDL, which is the uh, dollar stable coin uh, that's minted so essentially it's worth a dollar of pulse when you do it um so this varies right now it's 97 cents so it's dipped a little bit it looks like it's on its way back up but there's a lot of things to um mathematically keep it pegged at a dollar um it's always worth a dollar in pulse so that number varies right so if it's if it's a hundred one minute a uh, hundred pulse then you know the price goes up then it's only 99 either way it's it's pegged to to a dollar's worth of pulse um so when you get their usdl then you can lock it into a stability pool so you stake your usdl and for your rewards you're getting the loan token well what i did what a lot of people are doing uh was taking those selling the loan and then repaying the loan so essentially it was a free um, um, reward that you could do two things with it. Um, you could then stake that as well. So you could stake your loan tokens and earn another yield. So what I would do is like every other week or so, um, I would just stake the loan tokens um, and get more rewards. So you're getting Pulse and USDL uh, for the staking the loan token and then the stability uh, for staking the USDL is you're getting the loan token and then you're getting pulse. So you're getting pulse um, and either loan or USDL for whichever one you're doing. Um, and, and like I said, I just borrowed money, staked it, uh, and then started earning the rewards and sold them off to, to pay back the loan. So eventually I would have staked money in there uh, that was free and clear. However, like I said, I had started it at a thousand percent over, I think it was 11 and 1200% collateral um, just to be safe because I could have survived a 90% a drop or whatever it was at that point. Um, and it got down to be where it was only 400 or just under three, I forget, just under 400% um, mm -hmm. collateralized. And for me, that was a little bit too close because I had a fair amount of pulse in there that I just, it wasn't worth it to lose it because I had right. taken so little value out. Um, right. I know there are people that are collateralizing it like um, just at 110% and taking it out and not caring. That's the way they're selling because you can sell a large amount by doing that, um, getting the stable coin 
and you're only eating 10% slippage. Um, right. Whereas if you try to dump a billion pulse uh, on the market, you're going to eat a lot more slippage than probably, you know, 10%. So depending on the liquidity pools and things like that, either way, um, there's nothing wrong with the platform. Um, it's just the, the loan token itself has been forever down. It's one, two, three, four, five zeros, one, seven, zero right now. Um, at one point, I think it was two or three zeros. So it's fallen very far. Um, I don't know if I can No, that just adds it to your wallet. So I, I was going to say, I was going to look up the, 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 um, this chart on the loan token. I was going to do that on deck screener just real quick yep. here. I'm um, pulling it up too. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, it's pulse. Yep. It's a forever down chart. I mean, it's just it's kind of flattened out over the last oh two months. But yeah, I mean, here it is. I mean, it's not really coming up though. So it's like when you look at this, it started. <laughs> Let's go to log. Let's at least to see it. Uh, you can't even see it because that first candle, there we go. It has just gone down, 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 down. You know, it did start. Um, well, it did. Wow. Uh, okay. For some yeah, reason, it, man, deck screener does that. If you, yeah, it, that yeah, first I, candle was like crazy. Um, yeah. either um, way. I was looking at it against Pulse. It, it's a little more favorable looking against Pulse. But, uh, yeah, it's it, it's going down. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, a lot of these tokens like that and then for other, like, yield earning platforms, like we've heard about the Cake token and stuff like that in the past, a lot of people thought that Incentive token would just be a dump token. But it doesn't really look like that's been the case with it. But you will see that with, you know, products like this like you you will see that that they just end up being a forever dump token but it, it, i mean it is good reports that you know you have used the platform it works as intended you know it just sure for you right now it just doesn't make sense to do but uh i just think there's people out there that have had clamoring for you know more things to be offered by them and things like that with the amount of money that they've gotten and uh well, just figure we would do a check on it anyway but uh, yeah i mean and and that is one of the things too you know they did take a pretty large sacrifice and i think one of the rewards was the um i think it was the loan token that they gave out or whatever um essentially was what was given as the sacrifice so that's a tough one right and you know they're right. they're asking people uh how do you suggest that we market um and someone I, I know someone had said something like, well, spend some of the money you got from the sacrifice. Um, and they immediately, immediately got blocked. So uh, again, I'm not on either side. The platform works as intended. Uh, yeah. When the markets are down, it drags everything else that's kind of tied with it down as well. Um, you clearly see what's happening. Um, you know, people are selling it to, to pay back the, the, the vault, the loan. That's kind of the way it works. Um, until you can develop something that doesn't give you a shit ton of, of loan tokens as rewards, uh, that's going to happen. You know, people may need another reason to lock them up uh, to earn something else. Maybe they build something else on top of it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but, but again, what do you do, right? So I, I just think when the markets are down, that's what happens. People get them, they sell them. Um, and they repay their loan. So right. that, uh, again, uh, it, not a good review, not a bad review. I, I'm, I'm just stating everything works as intended. Um, I do remember seeing some things that I wasn't really a fan of, um, and that was the redemption fees. And I, I mm -hmm. think people may not have understood those completely when, when they put their money in. Um, to stake in the stability pool because there were often times when the, the price would would drop. And even though I was over collateralized, um, the money that I had staked kept decreasing. Um, I, right. I, was get, I was getting redeemed upon. Now, th the interesting part of that was I was getting rewarded in pulse. So for redemption fees, I was getting massive rewards in pulse 
So at that point, what you had to do was trade your pulse out back into the USDL um, to yeah. get it back. And you actually made out a little bit. I think you made nine or 10% more than what you had. But if you didn't do that, it just looked like your balance was kept coming down. Um, so a lot of people that weren't trading their pulse back into the loan token, you know, were ending up with less value. So mm -hmm. it was a, it was a tricky balance to keep an eye on it. Um, and you know, like I said, it, it's oftentimes I would look at it and I'm like, well, why did my state go down? Why do I yeah. have less now than I had last week or whatever it was? Um, and that's what was happening. People were getting redeemed, uh, which takes out from your, um, you know, your, your USDL tokens, um, and gives you the pulse instead. So mm -hmm. there is management. It's not one of those set it and forget it type things. Uh, you have to be on top of it all the time and, and pay yeah. attention to it too. Uh, because the last thing you want to do is get liquidated. Um, so yeah, I think that's the thing to be careful of, especially when you're at the bottom of a market like this or if there's volatility or anything like that. It's just know what you're getting into with any of these tools, whether it's that, whether it's like LPing on PulseX or 9inch or whatever other platform it is. Like, Make sure you know what you're doing. Um, know the risk versus reward and how actively you have to manage this stuff because some of them, you better be on top of it or you will lose money. You know, Others, yep. you can kind of do more passively. So.